So in this project we're working with partners from the creative industries. Students from schools from the northern regions are coming in and they're, they're learning skills from those partners and creating works that involve both technology, science and the arts as well with a view to actually showcasing those works at the opening of the tech schools in the middle of the year. The Melbourne Electronic Sound Studio is a foundation dedicated to giving everybody access to the entire history of electronic music in instrumental form. The benefits of working with practicing artists are they know what they're doing, they understand the music scene, music culture, so you're getting their experience as well as making your own experiences. I had no idea at the start what to do, everything was it's like learning another language really. When you're building a synthesizer voice, you are engaging with the basic physics of sound, sine waves, square waves, the different ways that sound vibrates in air, and the different ways that you can sculpt sound as voltage from that oscillator stage to the output stage. All of that is engaging you in not just a creative process, but in a scientific process. The technical side, it helped a lot when it was all explained, how to shape it, how to form it into a sound that is pleasant, that isn't too high pitch, that isn't too low. You're creating something that you wouldn't normally create because you're branching out of your comfort zone. I think it's important for young people to be exposed to these kinds of opportunities because they get to see the kinds of processes that are usually mysterious that involve technology and science and the arts together. They get to actually explore those things from the insider's perspective to understand the connection of music to science and projection and light and how the technology fits in and how all these things combine to produce the kinds of artefacts that we see in the world out there. For the last two days we've been working on like projection art and animation. Everything I've learned here is basically new for me. The students produced a lot of short clips that are going to be projectable artworks. They explored different visual styles and also different digital and traditional animation techniques. These skills can be used in a creative way and it can help you get jobs and it can give you the knowledge and resources to get ahead in life. By having an industry professional treat you as an equal, you get to see what their career is like and you can question yourself, would I want to have a career in that work field? Knowing that it's going to be shown to the community at the new tech school, it makes me feel really proud and it makes me like want to work harder on it because I can show people something of mine. The tech school is really a facilitator of the partnerships that are required to actually support students to continue to learn. And industry will come into that learning process as needed. And the industry connection is crucial from a number of perspectives. One, from the way that students can engage with the work that industry does. But in addition to that, the way that industry mentors can actually come in and work alongside students. I have more respect for people who use these kind of instruments now. When I have a guitar and I have a guitar pedal, I think, I'll just step on it and it will change the sound of it, but there's a lot more involved in it and I think I learnt a little bit more about how synthesizers change, how the sound changes. And gain all that knowledge and being able to perform what we've done now is just, it's amazing really. It's just been really eye-opening.